Beautiful Sagittarians, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your monthly reading for August 2022. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pertain to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram, or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details, and I will never ask you for personal details either. So if anyone masquerading as me asks you for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful. Mindful, there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Sagittarians, this is your reading for August 2022. I'm going to get all of your cards first before I connect to the energy. But just to let you know, you should be feeling that new moon energy in Leo, which occurred on the 28th of July. Uh, this is your time to shine. This is a month to stand out and allow your inner light to uh, basically shine out and influence all those around you to find harmony in your world and harness your inner power. Time to get creative or treat yourself in a way, a, even a small way, even if you can't afford it, perhaps it's more about self-care routines, doesn't always have to be about treating yourself in terms of money. Look at that, we got the star energy. So that is about you shining your light and standing out, okay? Normally that is not your energy, you don't tend to want to be in the spotlight, but you definitely are uh, going to be in that energy as we move throughout the month. Now, this is also a time for setting intentions and making wishes because they are coming true. This month is a period where we think about something and we tend to bring it towards us, but it may not show up in exactly the form that we ask for because there's so many planetary alignments that make us feel that we're taking two steps forward and four steps back, okay? So also we have the full moon in Aquarius, and that's on the 12th of August. Now that energy can be a little bit volatile as it involves a clash between the sun energy and uh, which is all about ego and uh, Saturn, which is in retrograde, and that's all about deconstruction. So it can mean that um, people rub us up the wrong way, or we feel uh, you know, uh, a little bit more pressurized than usual because there is a deconstruction of ego going on in the month of August, which can be no bad thing. But in, whenever we experience change, um, I mean, if you know my readings, Wheel of Fortune and Tower, they tend to show up together and you're getting like major energy happening towards the end of the month for you. Um, but it's really positive, really positive outcome here. Um, but I'm just going to get all of your cards first, as I said, before I connect to the energy. Um, now, um, yeah, the deconstruction of ego can be no bad thing. But when it comes to humans changing things, sometimes it feels a little bit... Um, you feel a little bit antsy or frustrated when changes are occurring. Now, you don't mind change. You're the sort of um, sign that embraces change for the positive. But sometimes, especially since we've got Uranus also in the mix, it can be a bit of a shocking change. And you've got the tower there. So uh, there is something uh, that will surprise you at the end of the month. Uh, now, August itself may feel like a bit of a bumpy ride, a bit of a firework as we embrace the planetary uh, changes. We have a major influence between between the passionate and fiery Mars and the electrifying and of course sometimes shocking Uranus. Together these two make quite a flammable pairing so um, you may feel uh, a little bit more pressure. Shortly afterwards we of course have Mars which clashes with Saturn and that can um, you know amplify all of that pressure, anxiety and make you feel like you're a little bit overwhelmed with the day-to-day -day. but just to let you know that only occurs at the beginning of the month and as we move through the month around about the 17th of August especially 
the planets bring a calmer energy and we feel like we can breathe again so you know wherever you are at the moment as well you may feel like everything's amplified you know humidity uh, the temperature uh, people's moods you know it's all uh, connected to some of the planetary alignment that we have at the moment as well of course now if you're trying to complete tasks and projects and things like that I definitely see you uh, making leaps and bounds but also remember there is that energy that it's like two steps forward four steps back you are a accomplishing things but there may be an energy of you accomplishing in one area of your life but feeling like you're missing something in another part of your life or you're feeling like you're taking a step back in that part of your life so I feel like there is a very odd mix and a balance throughout this month um, now mercury gets in the mix around about the 21st of August and that brings much better energy much better news and you know much better moods and communication for you in particular your ninth house is activated and that is your search for meaning search for your place in life um, understanding who deserves a place in your life and uh, what deserves a place in your life and what matters to you most it's about looking at how far you've come where you are right now and where you want to go and what changes you want to make in order to um, move forward on whatever it is that you um, are trying to accomplish. Also, you may feel a little bit more philosophical than usual, asking those bigger questions, trying to find clarity, understanding your place in the world and what mark you are making in uh, your, your place in the world and with those around you or your career. Um, also, this is a, car, uh, so a time for sort of studying um, higher learning, spirituality. Uh, you may also fit travel into the mix as well, especially you being the archer. My beautiful Sagittarians, I always say that you are the wanderer of um, the Zodiac. If you can fit in a quick trip or you can fit in an adventure, you're always right there at the forefront trying to do that. You've got your third house of communication activated as well at the end of the month, which also stars uh, quick trips and education and studying but it's more about how you come across to others. So you may be wondering, sometimes some of the things that you say, it was so interesting, look, you got the Eight of Cups twice. Look at this, I'm loving this. Two different decks, Eight of Cups twice in the same position. So um, you may be returning to something that made you feel happy um, during uh, you know your life, whether it's a, a, an old friendship, relationship, or maybe even a career. I see you returning to something uh, that you may have walked away from. But anyway, we'll get to that in a moment. But yeah, you may be looking at how you talk to people or how people perceive the way that you talk to them or how you come across. I mean, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. My beautiful Sagittarians, um, you're doing you. But sometimes you may think people don't, they misunderstand you or misconstrue what you're trying to say or what you're about. So I feel like this is about with your third house trying to make yourself clear make yourself heard make yourself understood uh you know in terms of your identity who you are and what you want to do okay and what you're about let's put it that way now let's connect to the energy the first card is the star now i see a lot of really positive things headed your way you've got the knave of pentacles which is of course um the um page of pentacles but you've also got the king of pentacles so really um really strong financial energy happening here um, and I feel like you're learning something that will change your life intrinsically this month I feel like there's a lot of uh, higher learning going on for you not just in terms of spirituality but in terms of your day-to-day -day or your career but the star in the energy indicates you are shining your light you're standing out also I feel like you're looking to the future with a little bit more hope than usual you're looking it's almost like you've got this far-sightedness this visionary energy stars are aligning to bring a dream or uh, something you've been trying to accomplish uh, bring it to the fore bring it to the the physical plane it's it's coming true for you but the star energy is all about embracing new ideas being inspired again um, you know really sort of seeking deeper wisdom and being aware of your place and how you are connected in the universe uh, so these are big philosophical questions as i said there's a major change on the horizon for you okay with the star energy and i feel like you're being inspired and encouraged to stand out or at least allow your light to shine okay i feel like you're going to be in the spotlight for something work related if you're still working if you're not working and you've retired um I see that you are seeking the sun in some way. I mean, everyone's seeking the sun, right? Or seeking um, 
something that's more rewarding you're seeing beyond the superficial i feel like you're looking at the day-to-day -day. you are an old soul and you're like you know what that doesn't fly with me i feel like you're securing your money um with your finances there but i feel like there's a sort of a bigger journey ahead okay where you're in being inspired to either take up a, a new hobby or um wanting to achieve something even though you may have retired. Now, just for those people who have retired, um, I want to do a reading specifically for you all out there. Um, so if it's something that you'd love me to do, it'll be a reading, I'll do it once a month to really focus on things for you all as well. And I just want to know what it is you'd like me to focus on, okay? That's just for those people who retired, drop it in the comments box below. I do go through all of the, the messages. It takes me some time, I gotta admit, like when there's like half a million of you out there writing a message, which is wonderful and I'm loving it so much and I'm so so grateful it does take a little while to get through all of the messages okay so uh, do bear with me but I do read them and um, I don't just say that I do and I do comment and get back to you all at some stage um, for those of you who are not retired I see you standing out in your career I see you being recognized for what you do and um, you being very successful I feel like there's more money on the horizon for you too I feel whatever it is you are aspiring to be or do or accomplish I see you setting out um, and accomplishing that. I see you um, finding more fulfillment as well. Uh, the star energy is all about healing as well. So it's about you looking at the things that, you know, are just not necessary in your world anymore, releasing any sadness, allowing things to just, you know, fall away, forgiving the past, forgiving past people, not because you are letting them off the hook, but in order to release any baggage that may have still been connected to you energetically, you're freeing yourself up. So it actually means you're having some sort of new start. I feel you doing a fearless infantry in your world and liberating yourself. That's what I feel the month of August really is for you as you have that search for meaning and where to next, the next step. With the death card, there's major changes for you. The death card is all about transformation, evolution, and I feel like you're releasing and moving on. You're embracing something new. You're making space for something greater by making changes. So for example, if you feel like you've been um, working really hard alone at the moment with that hermit energy, and you've been really focusing on um, your inner work, but also you've been fo focusing on your career and you've sort of gone off grid withdrawn, you may feel more compelled to change your circumstances by getting out there to meet new people. Or um, if you feel like your work doesn't appreciate you and you're looking for more money because I see you staircasing in your finances, you may make some changes to embrace something greater, something new, something better for you, okay? So this is a regenerative energy. Now, right now they're showing me in the water, they're showing me a lizard. Now, um, lizards actually do tend to mean regeneration. So, uh, you know, if, if the lizard loses its tail, it, it grows it back, you know, so this is regeneration. So whatever it is you feel like you've lost out on in life, you will get it back in a better way. So whatever is meant for you will never pass you by. If something does pass you by or it's not meant for your life, it means it's, it's not rewarding for you long term. It's not something that will bring you any um, enjoyment or emotional reward so the universe removes it from your life in order to make space for something better okay so you may have felt like you are exploring new options like new neighborhoods new uh you know uh, restaurants cafes um new in places in your environment in the month of august you may feel compelled to wherever you feel like you're at to really explore the surroundings in a new way, places you've never been before. Or it could also be that you're um, wanting to travel or relocate and wanting to uh, go somewhere where you feel you belong. Uh, with the Hierophant energy, I feel like you're learning something, learning some information. Maybe some of you are putting yourself on courses to learn something new, or you feel compelled to take up a new hobby or do something that really interests you that will actually change your life, okay? The Hierophant also is a card of you being a mentor. So I feel um, you change the way that you look at things. You actually influence a lot of people, my beautiful Sagittarians. You may not feel like it sometimes, but actually people look up to the things that you say and they take you at your word because you're so honest, open, blunt sometimes, but you lead with integrity and you're a really good friend. So you're the sort of person who um, you, well, they give me the word diplomatic. I mean, maybe 
sometimes you are diplomatic about the things that you say, but you're always honest, you're always open, and you're non-judgmental as well. So that's what makes you such a great person when it comes to friendships and people asking advice. Um, with the Hierophant, I feel you are trying to have faith in the changes that you're making, okay? I feel like there is an energy here of you wanting to be guided or connecting to your belief system or whatever source you celebrate in order to reach higher wisdom. And I feel like you're the sort of person who um, you're changing the way that you conform in situations. So you are not, you're the sort of person who's a natural born leader, my beautiful Sagittarians. You don't follow the trends. You don't follow, you're not a sheep. Let's put it that way. I get this energy of you are always bucking trends and sort of like doing things on your own terms, not in a rebellious energy that you're trying to like make people's lives difficult. But I feel like you're the sort of person that if someone tries to tell you what to do, you're like, OK, I'll listen, but I'm kind of going to do it my own way. OK, um, because your way, I feel like, is more um, evolved or more uh, you have more knowledge or more, um, how can I put that? It's like wisdom, but also um, maturity. That's the word, thank you, maturity, okay? Um, now, for those of you who are in a relationship already, I also feel like, well, I probably shouldn't say this, but I feel like your partner may pop the question, okay? Uh, so please act surprised if that happens, you know? Um, but I get this energy of um, this person offering you a solid commitment, um, wanting higher level commitment, like moving in or getting married or something like that. Uh, for those of you who are looking for love, I mean, I do see that there are two people in your energy. Uh, one of them is really, one of them is really, um, looking for a relationship, looking to settle down. Another person, I feel like you 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 know this person. I feel like this person returns, okay? Uh, I feel like this person is someone, I mean, it doesn't have to be an ex. It can be someone from your past that you had some sort of feelings for. Maybe a relationship didn't come to term. It could be an old friend, an old work colleague, and it just wasn't the right time when you met this person. I see someone coming back into your energy, and I see you going out with this person and kind of having a conversation with this person. It doesn't t uh, turn into a relationship until later on in the year, but I feel like it's something back and forth that keeps your heart fluttering okay so we'll leave that there this reading is not really about love now some of you as I said may you know pick up a new hobby or you may even put yourself on a course of learning this month because of that ninth house and the third house but also you've got the Hierophant which is about absorbing knowledge and being someone um, who can also help other people with their knowledge so you may be like learning a course uh, to help you with your business amplify your um, earning potential, but also um, some of you may be learning to be a, a tutor in something. Perhaps you're being a, someone who's very spiritual, because I feel like you've got a lot of spiritual gifts. Some of you may be using your spiritual gifts uh, to heal people or help people take care of themselves or even like personal coaching, things like that. So uh, I feel this is something that I feel people will gravitate towards you because you're honest, you make things really clear and um, you know, you really care is what I'm feeling. Um, but there's a lot of positive energy for you. The changes that you're making, I feel like you are on your road to success. But you may have felt recently that um, with the sun card, there's something here, because this is a resistance position, you may feel things have been in delay, or you may have felt a little bit down recently, a little bit um, more negative than usual or a little bit more grouchy than usual now this could be because of the planetary alignments just to let you know but the sun card in this position it's like i got it in the reverse so you may have felt there was a sadness okay so you may be searching for meaning and when we do that when we search for meaning it can mean that we feel something is missing in our world at the moment so whatever that thing that you identify that simply is missing whether it's a little bit more fun because you've been working really hard whether it's you've been having too much fun and you need to knuckle down and get clear and focus on your finances and your work i feel like you find the solution and find like have an awakening where you find the balance okay now this is also a card of any sadness or feeling down or low vibe that you've been experiencing or maybe even a lack of vitality a lot, lack of energy for um life in general i mean it could be across the board uh, this will turn to a more positive energy where you get a boost of energy uh, you feel more positive you feel more optimistic and you leave any confusion behind as you can see we've got the two eight of cups 
These are the cups where it's like you go in search for meaning. You go on a journey of self-discovery. And that's what's really prevalent in your reading for the month of August, okay? You're, you're, you're seeing beyond the superficial. You know, you're not the sort of person, my beautiful Sagittarians, who can have like superficial conversations. You want things to be a little bit more deeper. You want to uh, enjoy it, but you still have fun, okay? Like, I'm a Scorpio, okay? We go deep in our conversations, and sometimes it's super intense. You're really good at, as being a Sagittarian, you're really good at having those wild wise, deep conversations, but also making them really fun, exciting, and, you know, um, and witty, okay? Not that a Scorpio cannot, but, um, you know, Scorpios are pegged for being really intense. And you have your intense moments too, my beautiful Sagittarians, but I feel that this is you finding the joy in that greater authenticity, re-examining where you've been, where you are right now, and where you want to go, okay? This is also a card of returning to oneself, because you found the happiness is actually within. So if you've been searching for something you feel is missing, something that you, has made you feel happy, you're actually going to rediscover it or discover it in the month of August. So it's a very positive time for you, okay? Um, also, if you felt like success was always out of reach in your career or in your day-to-day, -day, then there is success returning to you or headed your way. And I mean, you've got a lot of light in your reading, plus you've got... Um, the Tower and the Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like there's a major change that brings a lot of happiness, a lot of clarity, and you embrace something new um, that makes you feel very um, fulfilled, okay? Um, the person on the Eight of Cups, they tend to go in search of meaning. They don't really know what they're looking for, but they feel like where they're at right now just isn't where they're supposed to be, or they feel like they should be somewhere else in their life, and they, um, they just decide to leave it all behind in order to go looking for the truth. Now, I'm not saying that you're going to leave everything behind. Some of you may be relocating or trying to um, move um, in order to um, move to somewhere or relocate somewhere where you feel like you fit in. But I, I just get this energy of you discovering like a wish because the next card up normally is the Nine of Cups. The figure in the Eight of Cups moves on and finds the Nine of Cups. So I feel like you're being true to your heart. Okay, I also feel like you're leaving anything that just is not fulfilling behind. And you're the sort of person who walks your talk, okay? So um, I feel by the full moon of um, August, you will have actually received some answers that really help you on your journey. And some clarity, okay? Um, also, I feel like you're learning a lot from the past. You may feel a little bit nostalgic during this time where you look to the past for some of the patterns that existed between you and maybe unhealthy situations or unrewarding situations. And you're looking at them and thinking, now I can see why I let that slide or now I can see why I was comfortable there and I wasn't really reaching my full potential. I feel like you're letting all those go. You're changing the patterns. You're changing the script. It's like a plot twist, okay? Now, the outcome energy, very positive indeed. I mean, a lot of people are scared of the tower energy when they see it because it feels like everything is going to come crumbling down. Now, remember the planetary alignment. Saturn, of course, um, is sort of um, squaring up, clashing there with Mars, and this is a Mars card. So I feel this is about the pressure. So sometimes it can be the pressure building, like a cuckoo pressure sometimes, and then it all like, for example, if there's someone getting on your nerves at work and it's like pressure, 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 you know the way that sometimes people sit there in, in silence and just think, oh gosh, I wish they worked in another department or something like that. I feel like the pressure will build, but it will come to a head where there is a positive shift in that situation. But the tower basically says, where are you feeling stuck? Where do you feel there are limitations? The tower is like a prison where we go round and round and round in circles and we feel comfortable. For example, if you work from home, you may be the sort of person who's like, yeah, I'm really comfortable working from home. And you know, you've got everything you need there. So you may feel like, okay, it's not that you're getting complacent, but you may feel like, okay, I need to force myself to get out there and um, connect to my friends or connect to my colleagues. Uh, you need to come out of your comfort zone to get out there and have fun because everything seems to be like at home. So whilst it's also a blessing to work from home, sometimes it can feel like a curse. You may feel like it's a little bit lonely. Um, so I feel like you're changing up the system. You're, you're shaking things out a little bit. Um, the, the tower is basically... Um, 
for example as well they've just given me that if you work from home um, you may feel like you're always on you know you always can just walk to your laptop or walk to your um, creative desk whatever it is that you work and you can just work they, they're in they're indicating here get a better schedule where you sort of uh, time the amount of time that you're meant to be at work and the rest of the time is absolutely for you okay you must have time to switch off they really indicate this with the hermit energy you must switch off and give yourself a bit of a break now the tower is basically an epiphany a sudden realization that something needs to change and because you've got the, dev the, the death card here as well I feel like you are aware of the changes or you've learnt about the changes that you need to make in your life and you're making them you're not shying away from them. This is a very bold month. Also, I feel like some really good luck headed your way. We got the two butterflies there for transformation, but it basically means, you know, if you're feeling um, like there's a decision you need to make in your life and you're sitting on the fence, the universe comes along to nudge you off that fence. The universe makes things feel so uncomfortable to force your hand to change at something and that's what the tower is all about okay it's about letting things that are not working for you crumble away but it's also about coming out of a comfort zone if things are not working so it's about shifting your perspective things become so uncomfortable so that the only thing you can do is take a leap of faith uh, normally in the traditional right awake to row two figures leap into the unknown because the building is on fire which means the universe has sent a lightning bolt to the crown chakra which means there is a deep knowing that there needs to be change or a rigorous sort of regeneration in your world and or an upheaval and the building is on fire to force you to change to force you to feel that uncomfortable energy so you take that leap of faith which you are doing because we've got the we've got the uh, full card here so you're listening to the universe you're making the changes now for some of you this is going to be you searching further afield for where you feel like you fit in you may be relocating or you've got your eye on a place that you want to relocate with but you feel like right now you don't have enough money to do that but I feel like you're saving the money and I feel like you're keeping an eye on this thing I also feel like that property that you're looking at it will come down in price okay uh, I know the world's a little bit crazy right now and everything's inflated but I see things uh, well I see here definitely things coming down in price and you having the money to be able to uh, get your dream home or whatever it is you're trying to accomplish for some of you it's going to be work related where you're learning new skills in order to build more money capitalize on money um, we've got the uh, wheel of fortune next so whatever surprise this is it is a lucky fortunate surprise okay they tend to show up together to sort of indicate that there is a bit of a shock for you at the end of the month where everything just works out in your favor something really positive works out for you but it may feel like it's not what you're expecting first off okay uh, the wheel of fortune your luck is changing uh, destiny intervenes to bring a positive change in your world a lot of abundance success but it is a card of cycles a cycle of change allowing yourself to look at all your possibilities and I feel like good fortune is headed your way okay um, we got the magician card here so whatever it is you've been manifesting as I said you're going to receive it this is a card of creating your your visions and turning them into reality but using inspired action you have um, you're very very talented at what you do my beautiful Sagittarius this is a card of skill talent but also of accomplishment so whatever it is you're focusing on and making changes to uh, accomplish and it's going to be different for everyone know that you have everything you need to make yourself successful this is a card of ability okay you have strong ability strong initiative but this is also magnetism so I feel like you are magnetizing opportunity towards you I also feel like you will stand out for your talent whatever it is that you do you're at the top of your game okay you are going to be recognized for that talent and I also feel like the people in power who have the ability to elevate you even further are watching and want to change your status in some way so for example if you work for a company you may receive an opportunity or have a conversation about new money more money or a promotion or you know some sort of raise or even a new job that becomes available a new position that becomes available at your workspace and you decide to take it and you get more money I feel like you're being looked at observed in a really positive way um, for some of you you may be deciding you know what I'm not appreciated here so I'm leaving to go to a space um, that does appreciate me and I feel like temporarily you may take a little bit of a drop in pay but it's only like um it's almost like you know when they do uh like 
maybe a three month probation period just to see if it works between uh, the people. I feel like it's only a, like marginally smaller, but you get more money as soon as you sign the contract, things like that. So look out for that too. Um, the magician card, there is a certain magic about you in the month of August where you are capable of achieving great things. And I feel like your vitality, your energy and your commitment to uh, making things happen is really starred. I feel like you're going to be very productive in a really positive way that brings in not just more money, but I feel like it brings more ideas and it leaves some more time for you to enjoy your own time and rejuvenate your energy. Because I feel like you're going to get really um, organized on your time and be really efficient with your time to help you have time for you. Okay, uh, we got the full card taking that leap of faith, something new opening up to you here. Uh, I feel like this brings you a lot of hope and it actually reminds you to have faith that anything is possible. This is your journey, my beautiful Sagittarians. This is your life. You can take whatever route you decide to take. Uh, anything, all options are available to you. Okay, this is also a card of adventure. So I feel some of you may be taking a, you know, a, an adventure in the form of travel, but I feel, feel also that this is a card of you finding that playfulness in your life that you may feel was lacking. Okay, so I feel like you're identifying things in your life that you're feeling you're lacking right now, especially with that five of pentacles. It's like, what am I lacking right now? How can I find that balance in my life? What is it that I've always wanted that I feel has not shown up for me in this world? Uh, I feel like you're identifying that and then you're making the changes to take a leap of faith and just go for it and open yourself up to new relationships, new friendships, new job opportunities. Um, new adventures okay um i see a lot of elevation for you i see a lot of money i see more money i see you being able to um make more money or save more money the five of pentacles is a card of sort of sometimes we especially even when we're doing well sometimes we still are very critical on ourselves the five of pentacles can be a card of what you feel you don't have to offer when it comes to opportunities or relationships. Sometimes we look at the things that we lack. So be careful about that, uh, spending time in that sadness or um, because the magician tells you that you've got everything you need within you. you. There's nothing outside yourself that you need. Of course, knowledge is the key to your success. Confidence is also the key to your success. Ideas, inspiration. Um, but I feel sometimes, and I'm not, you know, pointing a finger at you, my beautiful Sagittarian, so please don't shoot the messenger. Sometimes we do focus on uh, the negative. And if you've been feeling like that negative energy has been creeping in, it's because of those planetary alignments. And you will sort of like realize that and eradicate that. You'll cut that out. Also, I would say if for those of you who are looking for a job, if you are currently not working and you've been either forced to walk away from something you love doing or you did walk away from something you love doing and you're seeking something greater there is an opportunity coming on in here you will hear for uh, about it don't draw attention to your weaknesses we've all got weaknesses and as a human um species most of our weaknesses tend to be very similar okay so one person is worrying about the things that they lack I'm worrying about the things that I think I lack. You know, you're thinking about the things sometimes. And it's only in pressurized situations that we truly think about those things. We're not going day to day thinking, oh my gosh, I don't have this. I don't have this. I don't have this. We're not thinking about those things. But when we feel like we need to offer something when it comes to either love or our career, sometimes we distort the way that we look at ourselves and see the negative. Okay. Sometimes we ask ourselves, why is that person in love with me? What do they see in me? I, I, don't, I don't see it. And then it starts to breed insecurity and things like that. Um, why is it that person has been given a, a raise above me or I'm doing more work than this person and they're still getting the opportunities? It's because, well, mainly it's because it's not your time. There's something better for you. But it's also about not focusing on <coughs> someone else's journey. It's your journey. Okay. Um, Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is very important. Your communication is key. This tends to mean that destiny and fate intervene to bring you a powerful transformation in your world. This is a very important month for you. You're going to make some very big decisions in this month, which will change everything and will help you secure your position financially, but also in terms of emotionally. Um, I mean, I would say if you're looking for love, I feel like 
you know, you will be talking to somebody new, but I feel like your focus really is not on love this month. I feel like your focus is on um, bringing more in enjoyment and more excitement into your world, um, trying to make your own luck, but also making radical changes to either where you live or how you work or how you, I mean, it may even be how you live with yourself, like healthier boundaries, stronger self-esteem, confidence pep talks, um, you know, better diets, exercise routines. Uh, they're showing me a pool right now. I mean, you do have the full card and this full card is actually diving into a pool, I'm guessing. So the fact that they're showing me a pool right now, some of you may be taking up swimming or you've just come in from swimming or you're about to go swimming. Uh, that may be something that's exercise related or it can mean that it's, I mean, if you're really lucky, you're saving enough money to buy a house with a pool. I mean, that would be like a dream, right? Uh, but not many people can afford that these days. Uh, or it could be that you're going on vacation. Um, they're actually showing me a pool and they may have done that, show me that for you before, because a pool has come up before. Now, this can also be about dreams, because pools of water in Tarot tend to mean about dreams, goals, opportunities. And this pool is super clear. So maybe it's like your dreams are becoming really clear to you. You now know what you want to do after going on a real journey of discovery, after taking yourself off grid for a little bit to really understand what you want. Um, but it can also be, they're showing me a painting. It's a very famous painting. The, I think it's called The Bathe. Um, well, I'm probably going to be get this wrong. Uh, it's off a swimming pool. I want to say it is... And I'm probably going to get this wrong as well. I want to say it's David Hockey. Hock, is it Hockey or Hockney? I'm not really sure. Um, I want to say it's called The Bathers, but I, I'm, again, not 100% sure. Um, and unfortunately, all I can see is like the pool, and it's like those white ripples in the pool. And it's almost like there's someone on the side wanting to dive in. So I'm not really sure what the painting is called. It's a very famous painting. So either you can see it right now in your line of vision when you're listening to this reading, or it can be a symbol that you will see over the next couple of weeks um, that will highlight that there's some really great news headed your way. Because this is the card of communication. So this card, I feel like you're being really disciplined with your journey. You are having conviction to make things happen. You're walking your talk. And I feel like you are being really honest with yourself. This is also a card of achievement. As you can see, we've got the crown chakra there and there's like a victory wreath around it. Something that you've had an idea on, you just know it will be successful. So some of you may be setting up your own business, setting up um, as an entrepreneur, or you're stepping into a leadership role that has more responsibility, and you know that this was meant to happen. You just know. You know that your luck is changing. You know that things are getting better for you. Even though the world is a little bit of a crazy place right now, I feel like you are securing your position. I also feel like you're communicating your needs better. You're being seen and understood. And I feel like your responsibilities, I feel like you're almost like getting really organized on your responsibilities so that it aligns you with more time for you, okay? Uh, we got the Hermit energy, so that is a very philosophical energy of, you know, your place in the world, but it's also about taking some time out to rejuvenate your energy and, you know, really revitalize your spirits. As you can see, we've got the star energy and we've got the star in the lantern, so I would say don't contain your inner shine. I would say um, sometimes the world knocks us down and we feel we don't get what we want or we're working really hard and it feels really difficult keep that inner light shining my beautiful Sagittarians it's so important um but I feel if there's someone in your world who is trying to dull your shine I feel like you're cutting this person out or having a real conversation with this person to say hey you do you and I'm doing me okay I'm gonna you don't walk my walk so just you know back off so I feel like you are owning your journey and you're not allowing anyone to influence um, the, you with negative feelings. Also with this hermit energy, I feel like sometimes it's necessary to take some time out for personal growth. So some of you may uh, even book yourself on a spiritual retreat um, in order to recoup your energy. Maybe that's the vacation you take um, or you're connecting more to spirituality in order to change your state of mind to a more peaceful state of mind in order to uh, feel like life is more rewarding again, okay? Um, now, the Knave of Pentacles is the equivalent of the Page of Pentacles. So I feel like you're being curious about learning new things, but also this is a card of being really practical. The effort that you put in 
I feel like you're looking at the reward that you get out and I feel like you are um, not just learning new things and studying, but I also feel like you're, uh, you know, applying yourself to um, enhancing your skills in order to make more money. Some of you may be looking at your talent, looking at your gifts and seeing how you can capitalize on that, making a lot of lists and, uh, you know, paying bills and, you know, getting clear on administrative tasks as well at the end of the month. So that may feel a little bit like humdrum, but it actually edges you closer towards success. Okay. For those of you who are looking for a job, there is an opportunity coming on in that you will hear about. This card tends to be about a job opportunity coming on in or some sort of financial news that will actually make you feel really, really, uh, like smiling. You'll feel on top of the world, especially since we got the King of Pentacles here, which means uh, there's a lot more abundance available to you. I feel like you're making a little go a long way. I feel like you're making you're a lot, you're being able to save a little bit more than usual as well. Uh, but I feel some of you, if you are an entrepreneur or you're trying to set up your own business, this will change everything. I feel like there's more money headed your way. I feel like some of you are thinking about working alone or working from home in some way. And I feel like this is going to empower you. Uh, some of you, it may be even like a second stream of income or a side hustle in some way, because I get this energy of doing two jobs or multitasking, especially since we've got the Knave of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. So you may be the boss of your own company and you may take on some other work, whether it's freelance. I feel it's a bit more stable than that. Um, but I just get this energy of money coming on in. Also, I feel like you are seeing your true worth. This came up in the Taurus reading, so perhaps you've got Taurian placements, and this is a Taurus card, so maybe I'm picking up on that energy because of Taurus. Uh, but it's all about your self-worth, knowing that you deserve the best, my beautiful Sagittarians, that you put the effort in and you get what you deserve out of it, okay? Um, if you felt like you know, you've missed out on opportunities. I feel like something even better comes in. If you felt like you've lost money or you've overspent last month, this month there's going to be more money and you're going to be able to save it. You're going to be a lot more savvy with your month, um, with your money. Uh, it can also be a card of you protecting your money, being really wise with your money and getting clear on the best way to use it to enhance your experience on this, this planet. You know, money, of course, is important to pay bills, especially in the environment that we're living at the moment where everything's amplified and inflating but I feel you know your month is really more about the journey it's more about your experience as a human uh, of course you're going to be focusing on you know the the human aspects of having to pay bills and having enough money for stability and for a rainy day but I feel this is more about you thinking about the path that you've taken um, whether it's something you're enjoying learning new skills connecting to new people and making time for you. I feel it's most important as well. But a lot of success headed your way. I feel like you're working really hard towards this. You're changing things in a very positive way. And I actually feel more energy, uh, you taking a calculated risk on something um, because I feel like you're in control of it. And I feel like there's some surprise news where there's like either something that you're wanting to purchase or comes down in price and you're able to purchase it or I feel there's something here I mean that's very precise right that's not going to resonate for everyone I, actually I hope it resonates for everyone everyone should have whatever they're trying to buy uh, at a lower price that would be amazing make me in charge of the world I would do that I'd be like no we're lowering everything I mean I may not be good for the people who are really in business but I'd be for the people like you know make sure everybody's got distributed everything we're all kind of like you know making our way and can eat. That's the most important thing. Anyway, let's move on from that. Uh, I just get this energy of you being really like proud of yourself for the accomplishments as you look back through August. So I feel like it's a very, very positive month of learning, of um, deep introspection, philosophical energy, um, some a little bit of twist and turn along the way, but a really positive outcome from those twists and turns, okay? Now, for some of you, I feel like you're returning to something that you used to enjoy, whether it's a hobby or a career, or it could also be people, people that you haven't seen for a while, but I feel like you've learned from the past. You're not over giving to these situations anymore. I feel like you are standing in your power, okay? So you may have someone return to you as well. There may be a friend or someone from your past who returns, reaches out to you because you made them feel happy. You made um, them feel good about themselves and good about your energy. So they've been yearning for you, okay? So I feel um, that, yeah, I feel like you'd be happy to, to connect to this person, but I feel like 
there's something about you you keep them still at a distance so whatever occurred before I mean, you'll have a conversation with this person. You'll embrace them. You're a wonderful energy. You're very mature in your energy. So you would embrace this person with warmth. But I feel that's as far as it goes. Um, you may meet up from time to time. Uh, they may become a little bit more of a permanent feature in your life, though. Um, so, but I feel like you don't, you don't let them have complete access to you, if that makes sense. Okay. Uh, so this could be a friend that you've fallen out with. It could be um, a family member that you haven't seen for a while, but there's a reason behind it. Uh, it could also be an ex. It doesn't have to be, uh, you know. Um, now, we've got hope and happiness. So as I said, I feel like you're trying to be a lot more positive about the energy. I feel like you're trying to see the beauty in everyday life. I mean, we've got seek beauty as well here. It's number 48. Uh, they're also giving me number 44 is important. Oh my gosh. I wish I'd said it. I'm almost kicking myself in the you know what. I was meditating. I always meditate on the readings just before I do a reading and things come up in the meditations and I say them if they come again in the water. Okay. And, um, I meant to say 44 right at the beginning, but I didn't. So I can't really call it, but they said 44 is important. And of course you got number 44. Of course you did, but I didn't say it. So I can't call it just so you're aware. Um, but as, uh, I, sort of touched the first card and showed it to you. Um, they gave me 44 again in the water. So 44 is important. Let's put it that way. It doesn't matter whether I called it or not. It's important to you. So look out for number 44. It may be the end of someone's uh, digits of their cell phone number. It could be the number of a building that you have to go to for an interview, or maybe it's a, if you're looking to relocate, it's number 44. Uh, so look out for number 44. It's important and it's really lucky is what they're showing, really lucky. Um, so hope and happiness returns in the month of August. We've also got keep your dreams alive. Okay, that's what I'm, I guess I was, not so eloquent in saying it, but this is about keeping your dreams alive, okay? As you can see, rejuvenating your energy, that star. It's like, don't contain yourself. Don't let anyone dull your shine. Keep those dreams alive, those wishes, because they are going to come true, okay? Um, don't give up on those, very important. So keep your dreams alive. It's number 25. When you reduce it, two plus five is seven, the chariot card number, which means success, movement forward, determination, and victory, okay? And motivation, of course, as well. Um, now we've also got seek beauty, not just seek beauty in the everyday life, but also seek beauty within yourself, my beautiful Sagittarians, because I feel like you don't give yourself enough credit for, um, your looks. Okay. I'm just getting that as well. Uh, you don't give yourself enough credit for the way that you look. Uh, sometimes you have a little bit of low self-esteem and of course, everybody's got a, a moment of that, but I feel like you, you're not aware sometimes how much people find you attractive, uh, both inside and out. You've got the beauty of having, uh, you know, a wonderful soul and also, you know, a, an attractive vehicle, as we could say, that you've come to in this lifetime. So give yourself credit there. Seek the beauty, not just within the world itself, but also within you. Um, and of course, it's number 44. So this is one of the most important messages for you because it's seek beauty. As you seek beauty, um, I mean, if you're trying to relocate or move to a country or um, move to a job, seek the beauty, seek the energy. Energy never lies. Absolutely, energy never lies. Trust your intuition. Um, you will find the place that you feel like you belong because I feel like that's what you are governed by in the month of August, that search for meaning and where you feel like you fit in. Uh, we've also got you are worth it, knowing your worth came up in the reading as well. So you are absolutely worth it. And then some, okay. Um, as you can see, there's so many lights here. I feel like there's a boat there on the shore. So I just get this energy, as I said, of you moving forward, making a radical change, but transitioning to something greater. Okay. Um, and it's connected to a dream. It will bring peace. And they really want to highlight there's like a little boat on the shore there, but there's an even larger ship on the horizon. So again, I get this energy that whatever you feel like you've lost out on or whatever you feel is like missing is going to be brought to you in a bigger way, in a more positive way in the future. Uh, I feel August is actually a very positive month for you. Okay. Revitalizing your spirits, peace, um, and something you've been trying to achieve shows up for you. Now success of course looks differently for everybody. Uh, we got Orca Whale, they want four. Um, so we've got Adventure, that definitely came up for you. We've got Dragon, Supernatural. 
Ooh, the energy is getting a little bit difficult now. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Sagittarians? What do they need to know? Uh, we've got Goose Inner Knowing. Okay. And we've got Lynx Keeper of Secrets. So, Orca Whale, Adventure. And it says, dare to do things differently. Sing your wild song. Manifest your travel dreams. Attempt the great journey with confidence. Be loyal. Friends and family are your treasures. Be brave. You're more powerful than you know. Very important message there. You're more powerful than you know. As we raise the vibrations collectively, we actually will change the dynamics in the world itself. Um, that's what I truly have been given by my guides. So um, a lot of you are light workers out there and know uh, that you've been sort of activated to do the same thing. So spreading love as well and seeing the beauty in the world rather than the negativity all the time is very, very important. Okay. Uh, we've also got Dragon Supernatural. Uh, you are the ancient wise sage. I mean, Sag, is there a reading I ever don't say that sage is the root word of Sagittarius, which is to be wise. I always say this. So you are the ancient wise sage. You absolutely are. You can shape shift at will. Mastery is your destiny. Rise with dignity. Especially since you've got that magician card, mastery is your destiny and you will be elevating with dignity. Okay. Uh, also, I feel dragon is a, simplify, a, a symbol for you to look out for over the next four to five weeks. A dragon. Now, I'll either be an image of someone's tattoo, or it could be on a billboard, or it could be like on a poster for something. I mean, there could be even be like you watch an advert and there's like a dragon in it. There's a dragon image that you will see over the next four to five weeks that symbols symbolizes. They're showing me the Ace of Swords news coming to you, and a breakthrough. They're showing me a breakthrough. Okay, for you. Um, we've also got Goose Inner Knowing. You're going to, be, going to be very insular over the next uh, four to five weeks. And it says you are a brave traveler. Everything is about you like getting more excitement or more travel going on in your world. It says you are a brave traveler. Your soul knows the way. Be confident and you will achieve your destination. Loyal friends are always with you. Don't worry. You are blessed. Let yourself fly. Okay. So, you know, birds, they always migrate. At different times of the year so maybe you're like feeling it's time to do a little bit of migration or something like that some sort of change uh, in order to um, enjoy your experience and we've also got links keeper of secrets and it says take time out from the world and be the observer nothing can deceive you when you trust your knowing you see other secrets and you keep them sacred in silence and solitude you will find your strength and that's absolutely necessary, especially since you've got that um, hermit energy right at the end of the month. This is taking time out, you know, being the observer of the world, disconnecting from any distractions, anything that takes you off your path. You're releasing those things. OK. And, you know, Lynx, beautiful creature, very independent, exactly like you, my beautiful Sagittarians. So I hope there's something in this reading for you. I'm just going to go and get a trinket before we close. Um, OK. So we've got the cat. So that's all about independence, but it's also the lucky cat, this one. So it's all about luck. Luck will be visiting your door, okay? And something that you've been trying to achieve or accomplish that you felt has been in delay will work out in your favor. They actually want me to put it on the Leap of Faith card, the um, full card there. We've also got the Key of Change. This connects to the Death card. They want it on the Death card. So you are unlocking something very important now if you've got uh placements in um taurus because i just did a taurian reading um there was a keyhole that came up there so maybe there's something in that message for you um but only if you're a taurus i guess of, with taurus placements so i would check that out uh, but this is the key of change so you're unlocking some major changes in your world and we've also got made with love and there's a heart so you're following your heart Everything you do, you put your 200% in there, my beautiful Sagittarians. I feel it's about time that you got given back. It's almost like you received back for all your love that you've been giving out, but made with love. So I feel this is about your heart, following your heart, but also knowing that your heart deserves better. So um, I feel like you're embracing a little bit more fun. And it's almost like I feel like, you're, yes, you're feeding your bank account in the month of August, but I feel most importantly, you're feeding your heart. 
in the month of August. And they want me to put this on the Hermit energy, okay? So this is about you going deep within. Your heart whispers sometimes, so we have to really take some time out to listen to it, and then you'll make your changes from there, okay? So I'll leave it there. I hope something does resonate for you, my beautiful Sagittarians. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with reading, which is very, very important for me too. Thank you so much, my beautiful Sagittarians. Love and light.